Well, I just found a shed. Pretty exciting, but then uh, as soon as I got up to it, I realized that uh, this was cut off and the brow was cut off and it was under a stinking deer stand on public land out here. So it was somebody's rattling antler. So not as cool as if it's like a legit antler because it's probably not a buck that's actually living here, but either way, I'm happy. Found a shed, first one of the year. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This is Nathan Nelson calling. Um, I was calling because uh, I was out shed hunting out in the woods and I found a deadhead out here, a buck. And I was wondering, is there any sort of process behind being able to like get a salvage for that or something like that? Sure, I guess it kind of depends on the condition that the head is in. So I just contacted the DNR and they said that the only time that you ever need a salvage tag for uh, a deadhead that you find out in the woods in Wisconsin here is if is is if it's got uh, any fur or anything left on it and any residual otherwise he said you can treat it just like a regular shed so I just found a buck here that um, I actually had on trail camera I called the buck AJ he was a he was an up-and-comer he must have died a year ago the year that I had him on trail camera I didn't get him on trail camera last year because I just didn't have any camera out here uh, but he was a buck that showed some very good potential and when I've been walking around in this area finding all these rubs this is the buck that I thought that I was finding the rubs and the scrapes from so that's kind of a little bit of a bummer but this is my second and third shed of the year that I have just found so yeah here we go Here we go. Oh, this one's been here a long time, man. I think I just found the other side to ax. That's that shed. I literally found it. The other shed right up the hill right there. Just probably 10 yards away from here. Man, and I didn't look hard enough to see if I could find this one. That has got to be his other side. Wow. Wow. What a beautiful buck. I've been back in this spot a couple of times now and never seen that. That is so cool. Quite the shed finds for today. Man. Like a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> I'm trying to think back on the different days that I've had scouting out in the woods when I've actually found sheds. And I think that this, if I remember right, this is my most successful morning of shed hunting ever. Uh, three sheds. I've, um, the most sheds I've ever found in a in a season of sh uh, shed hunting is six so to find three in one sitting that's pretty stinking good for me uh big woods areas that doesn't happen too often uh, obviously still a little disappointed about the one being a deadhead but i mean so cool so cool and if this bigger shed here that puppy his axe that would just make the story all the more enjoyable knowing that that's a buck that I had found his shed now this shed has been if this is his which I think it is because it was just 10 yards away from where I found the other shed uh, two years no th was it three years ago no had to have been Two, just over two and about two years ago it was already a year old shed at least at that point so this shed has potentially been sitting there for th three years which is amazing that it's still intact uh, but it looks old so yeah I mean 
So cool. So cool. I'm going to compare it next to the other shed. and We'll see what it looks like. That brings my total shed count for the year up to four. So I'm going to try to get back out a little bit more and still got to see if I can get my wife out there and see if she can find some as well. So not a whole lot more before things are really greening up. Um, a lot of leaves are coming on the trees now, so pretty soon we won't be able to see nothing. And then the shed hunting will not be very good. Well, we are out doing some shed hunting today. We're celebrating our anniversary today. Three years. And um, being the people that we are, when we go uh, on our anniversary to celebrate, we go shed hunting. So. We went out looking here and uh, my beautiful wife just found a matching set of sheds that fell right next to each other. So yeah, this is pretty sweet. All right. This is her first and second of the year and uh, that puts our total between the two of us up to six now this year. So, and we've found six of them. Is it in three days? Mm -hmm. In three days of shed hunting, so. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here we go. Sweet, hold them both up. Wait, they're going the other way. <laughs> Not the biggest buck ever, but it's so cool to find those sheds. Oh. I know like some too. Leo loves sheds too.